Coach Andrew Zhao of the Silicaga Aggies. And Coach, uh, if you liked high excitement with the offense, you would enjoy that 49-42 over Talladega last Friday. Yeah, if you're a fan of, uh, of, of that, I, I would rather us have the high in excitement than, than them having, you know, scoring so many points. But it was a great win for our team and great win for our program. Most people would have never dreamed that uh, both these teams would be racking up over 40 points. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, you know we were we were quite surprised with some things they were able to do against us. They had two weeks off uh, to prepare for us, and uh, they ran a few different things than we were expecting um, from their offense. And you know we felt like we possibly could score. I was concerned about their athletic ability on the edges and uh, from their skills skill uh, positions, but um, we were able to uh, still run the ball effectively. And uh, when we needed to, we got some some um, some plays in the in the passing game. But man, their offense really gave us problems. So Lacaga's offense, nearly 600 yards of offense, that's pretty doggone good. Now we've, um, we've, we've done a pretty good job over the last few years, I mean, a few years, a few um, games to really just put up points. Um, our, our, our running backs have done well. Um, Caleb has done well getting on over, over there and helping us as well. So man, very exciting football for us right now. We just got to continue to um, improve in, in some areas and um, we should do that. Your running backs, oh. Ran at will a lot of times last Friday night. <laughs> yeah, um, and I know uh, early in, early on, Malik's always going to be, uh, he's always done well this year, and um, the offensive line has done a great job of opening up those holes. And we could give those guys credit, but Caleb got in. Um, Malik got a little dinged up, so we, we put uh, Caleb in, and Caleb did an outstanding job of just, you know, being, you know, 6'2", you know, 215, 220, and just running through tackles. And uh, he, he – he enjoys that part of the game, and we enjoy him getting that opportunity. And then once again, I still need to continue to find ways to get him the ball. Where are we as far as Silicaga offensively with your quarterback? He's becoming more seasoned as the season progresses. Yeah, and I have to do a better job of getting you know, of trusting um, him at times. Um, but he he can do it. He's very capable, and I and and it's me. It's, I'm the play caller, so it's me. Um, and it, what's happening, too, is that we, we run the ball early in the game and we get up and you're up by 30, 40 points and you're like, well, we don't need to throw the ball anymore or throw it at all. So um, so I have to we have to throw the ball early and see where we are. And I have to really pick and choose where I want to throw the ball. Um, we do a good job in the run game. So if we, we get ahead of the sticks, you know, there may be opportunities there, um, but we're still improving on some things. And, and once we we get certain looks that we like, we will attack them. It is, we're optimistic on some things, um, but we have to find those opportunities. And once we do, I think um, Brayson is very capable of making those plays. And um, the other guys on the edges like Luke Vincent and, and, and D. Ware are very hungry and they want the ball. So um, we have to start finding ways to get it, the ball. Isn't, isn't that refreshing, you guys that <laughs> want the football? Yeah, yeah, you got guys who want it and, uh, and they're very capable of getting things done when they have the ball in their hand. Uh, and, and we have to do that. Like I said before, I have to do a better job of that. 49-42, Silicaga over Talladega. Tonight, or Friday night, uh, you know, I followed Hopeville for several years uh, when I was doing television and radio down through the years, and they were on lean times. But uh, that's a pretty good football team down there right now. <laughs> They're not lean right now. No. Those guys are pretty uh, big up front. They do a great job of um, running the ball, behind, and they got a great back. So, um, and, and they can stretch the, stretch the field a little bit, getting the ball down the field. So we, we, we got our hands full. Um, we're gonna have to come out and play fast or you know, have a fast start. And um, like I told our guys yesterday, we can't spot anyone. Uh, we have to really come out the gate r running. And uh, this, is, uh, this is for both teams to have a, to possibly host you know, first round of playoffs. So it is very important that we win this yeah, game. I, I saw a story. Uh, out of Wetumpka uh, about the Hopewells football team and and the coach over there he was over in East Alabama I can't remember where he was uh, for a while they made the playoffs what two years in a row is that right I'm I'm not sure I, I'm not very familiar with the, the region yet but His I'm name getting is Franklin there. coach Franklin yeah yeah kind of, yeah, yeah 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 but I just, I'm not used to their I mean I don't understand their um, their history so um, I'm 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 working on getting better in knowing the region yeah well you talked about the importance of this game huge. Uh, uh, ramifications for this football game. That is, that is correct. We really have to understand that this is very important for our not only our, our team but our city to to welcome a, a and host a, a playoff game. Hopefully our guys understand that. We sort of stressed that to them throughout the week and stressed that to them throughout the last 
you know, few games that if we're looking to host a game, uh, we have to come out and then we have to really um, play the way uh, we're supposed to. And that's once again, get better every day and play to a certain standard. But if you want to host a game and uh, in the playoffs, not just one, but if you can host another one, I'd be even better. But we really got to come out and play the way we, we should. Coach Franklin talking about this week, of course, they won by forfeit yeah. against Tallahassee. And uh, you guys know about those forfeit uh, games, and, and they haven't played a home game in four weeks, according to Coach Franklin. Uh, how, do you, how did you handle when Sylacauga had to forfeit uh, and you're not playing on Friday night? Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. I think what you have to understand is that uh, we had just come off of a bye week, a week or so before, and you're on for basically our, we played Childersburg in between that, which in our starters only played about a half. So about three weeks span right there, we were we were probably not hadn't played in a while. So um, and it's tough to, to continue to have your guys focus. Um, and once again, they're young and they they have so many other things going on in their lives, and and football is just part of it. But um, we really focused on what we could do every day, and we continue to push them as if we're, we're playing a game. We prepare for Elmore. We didn't play them, so we prepare for the next team. So uh, it's just preparation and keeping your guys on, on a on a schedule. Um, because I mean, if you throw them off that schedule, it could be it could be hard for it, for them to get back on. Coach Andrew Zow, the head football coach of the Sylacauga Aggies, on the road to Hopeville Friday night, and uh, you know, I'm, going back to that story I saw this morning, as a matter of fact, uh, Coach Franklin's high on his football team, mm -hmm. and he did say in this article that he think it's advantageous that uh, they were playing at home, which certainly it should be. But Silicon's forte is running the football. Hopeville will have to stop that run. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's and it's 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 a it's a great opportunity for them if, to be at home because their crowd will be into it, um, and it's always good to play at home. Um, but there is some challenges that both teams face. We have to stop them from running the ball, and they have to stop us from running the ball. Um, we have to find other ways to make plays in our offense, and so no one sort of crowds the box for us. And we're capable of doing that. Um, and I look forward to the challenge. I think our guys are up for the challenge, and I think Coach Franklin and his team will be as well. So I believe that if we go out and we play well, we should be able to take care of business. But at the same time, if you go out and you give any team, you spot them any, any points, um, they have tremendous athletes on their side of the ball, and they can really beat you. So our guys need to understand yeah. you can be beat. Yeah, and with the game tomorrow night and, and the playoff ramifications of the game, maybe hosting a first-round uh, game in the playoffs. And Silicon have been to the playoffs a lot, but that first round has eluded them most of the time. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, we just that's getting out of the gate and understanding that your team is still – you're still playing football. I know everyone says, hey, it's a 10-game season, but, man, if you're really looking to – to host games and, and get to the next level of, of play, you have to play those first round games and you have to play them as if they're just they're the next season, but you're still playing at a high level. And if you can't have any letdown because you, you don't you don't know that team, you yeah. don't know you you don't, you don't you're not familiar with them. So um, we have to do a very very good job of studying in them and, and, and getting coached up. How good can Pope be? Pope can be outstanding. I really believe he's one of the top backs in the state. Um, I've seen plenty of backs in the state, um, around the state, and they're, they're pretty good. But, you know, what I've seen him be able to do and what I see him every day and his demeanor and his work ethic and his, his, uh, his chemistry with he, that he has with his team, not only is he a good football player, he has good character, and, and, and he's a, um, he's a good, good guy. So, um, but, yeah, uh, overall, his athletic ability, I mean, he's, he's just a junior. He's a young junior. And uh, he's a 185 pound. Still learning. Yeah, he's still learning, and he's just got into this system. So um, the zone scheme really is, is what I, I envision him being really good at, and he does a good job of some other things. But man, he catches the ball well. We don't throw the ball to him a whole lot, but he catches the ball well in practice and some th other things that we're, we've been doing. But um, what a back, what a guy, and I think he's um, and he understands his his um, his role on the team. Great leader. Um, he does a lot of it by action. Um, and uh, he, he wants the ball. He wants that pressure. He wants it on his shoulders. Defensively for Silicon, you can't afford to give up 40 points against Holtville. <laughs> no. Um, and we got our work cut out for us, man. We, got, we have some young guys in different spots back there, and, and we've done well. We've been in position. We just don't track the ball well, and I think that's what Coach Langham and I sort of talked about, and uh, he's working on those things, those things that he knows that if he had a spring with him and he had some more time with him in the offseason, he could have fixed some of the, um, yeah. the, 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 those things. But, uh, yeah, we have a problem tracking the ball. Um, we just have to go up and, uh, and make those plays. We made slight adjustments uh, this week in our secondary, and uh, hopefully um, you know, they'll, they'll 
proved to be the right of moves. A lot of Silicaga supporters watch uh, your show every Thursday morning. And how do they go about getting tickets for this game? Everything's been kind of different this year. Yeah, it has been. Everything this week is on GoFan. Um, so if you can get tickets, it'd be good. GoFan and um, understand that you know, it's not really our fault. It would be more so, yeah. and then no one's fault. It's just the way things are right now. Is uh, understand that uh, you know, GoFan is where everyone's sort of going to. Uh, you can go and get your tickets there, and uh, hopefully we see everyone in Hopeville. All right. Coach Andrew Zile, the head football coach at Sylacauga Aggies. Aggies on the road against Hopeville tomorrow night in a key region matchup. And Coach, good luck. Let's bring that win back to Sylacauga. Right. Thank you. Go Aggies. More day break coming up right after this.